Oh my god, what do you mean? We had to take the second photo, which was the photo of the Milky Way, in order to merge it with the silhouette. The edit. Oh my god. I've always been super interested in space. Even a few years ago when I did that photo shoot where we went out to that kind of like desert area and we took up like this massive drone and I, I photoshopped it to make it look like it was a supernova. That photo shoot was unreal and I did set out to kind of capture like some essence of space, which we did. I think we did succeed in that but it was heavily photoshopped and it wasn't the actual thing. A few years ago, I saw this photo right here and ever since I've tried to recreate it where we have like the subjects, like the silhouette right there, but then you've also got the Milky Way in the middle. I ended up getting a message from my good friend, Jordan Hexham, and he ended up saying that we should go do a Milky Way photo shoot. <laughs> Hello, Pop It! What's going on? What's up? How are you, man? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. You ready for tonight? Oh, dude, I'm so ready. I'm really, really excited for the astrophotography because I haven't shot the Milky Way in like over a month now. Over a month? Oh, such a long time. <laughs> well, I always go on like road trips and stuff, so usually I'm like always shooting and stuff like that, but yeah, I'm really excited to go again. Yeah. Well, I've never shot the Milky Way before, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> All ah, right, we've made it to thy location. Oh, that's, that is pretty cool. Uh, it has like the lights there. I wanted to get like a shot of like, like a portrait shot, but I don't think that's possible here, is it? You never know until you try to remember. Milky Way Galaxy is like kind of lining up that way. So it's kind of in the way, we, like we want the subjects to be right there, but that foliage is in the way. So I don't know how we're gonna do this. Okay. Let's just test right now. Oh, that's way too bright. <laughs> okay, so the Milky Way is on the right a little bit too much. So what we can do is we can like move over here a little bit potentially. Uh, okay, how am I gonna do this? It'd be hard to get a silhouette because of how like dark it is in the back. Yeah, um, that's what I was thinking. You can just like shine a light at the subject instead. But it would be too motion blurry unless if we combine two photos. I had someone stand right over there where the cliff is right there. And you can also get the, the Milky Way and also the light trails from the street right there. It would be like that. <laughs> dude, I, I don't think you should do that. No, we do it for the shot. You can just stand, yeah, sit. Oh, dude. There you go. Oh my your God. No, 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 like right, yeah, right Yeah. There. That's perfect. What's oh, fucking hell, man. Ugh. Ready? There wasn't a proper silhouette. <laughs> oh god, that looks so sketchy. Oh my god, dude, be careful. Wait, that V? Oh my god, this looks so sick, I'm not gonna lie. Really? Oh, <laughs> oh my Oh. Yo. Is this, fuck? is this, <laughs> is this too much? Cause I think we're just overcomplicating stuff right now. What's the first, I was in the silhouette one. It's kind of dodgy at the moment, but like, yeah. How are we gonna do this? Um, do you actually want to compose this? Because I'm like finding it like difficult to focus. I want to get this photo so bad. I want to take it, but the thing is like, because my medication is just making me like tired. And, like, it's okay, but it's like, do you want to do you want to compose it? Yeah. Hey, let's swap real quick. Okay, look, it is very cool, but it's like, what's going on? Yeah. So we did some light painting, which kind of took away from the Milky Way. And on top of that, there was light pollution. So the Milky Way was like pretty faded. You couldn't even see it properly. And on top of that, it was like heavily Photoshopped to make it look symmetrical. So it looks unrealistic and unnatural.
But then a few days later, Jordan ended up messaging me again, saying that we should go even further out into like somewhere where there's like absolutely no light pollution in the middle of nowhere. At first I was like, yes, of course, that would be amazing. But, but then after that, I ended up thinking again and I was like, Mm, I don't know if I can do this because like I haven't like gone over two hours outside of like that radius of like where is comfortable for me because of like the medications I, I, I like what if something goes wrong and like if we have no cell phone coverage then like what what happens then like if something goes wrong with the medications it goes really wrong so I just had like these thoughts in my mind that it was just like scaring me and I was like I, I, I didn't say this to him but I didn't I wanted to do it, but I was like, I, I don't think I should do it. Like not yet, like maybe when I get off the medication. So I was like, mm, okay, I have two decisions here. I can either stay at home and not have any fun and just whatever. Or I can go out despite the medication, have fun, have a new experience and just see what happens. And that really excited me. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. We're gonna go, we're just gonna send it. I feel like our best bet would be to go a little bit further, like over this way. In the middle of nowhere, <laughs> like completely <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. We've got a bunch of traffic. ETA is 7.15 right now, so. Yeah. The Milky Way's lineup was actually at eight o'clock PM. So we did need to hurry. How the fuck are we gonna do this? <laughs> So we're going off-roading now? <laughs> yeah, with no service. <laughs> Fucking hell, this is responsible. Nah, it'll be fine. What does it say? Uh, please don't say It says no trespassing. <laughs> okay. Let's not deal with that. No. Well, I cannot see behind me. Yeah! <laughs> so we we're looking around for an elevated area but we couldn't find any. So it was just kind of like, holy shit, like we need to take this photo. We go like around like a mile on this road. There should be something to shoot for the silhouette. The medication withdrawals were just like, sort of like getting to me kind of thing. But I was like, you know what? No, I'm just gonna push through this. We've got this, we can do this. Here, I'm gonna pull up right here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God, what do you mean? This is just absolutely unreal. Huh. We can actually see like all the stars. There's like no light pollution. You can even see some of the stardust from the actual Milky Way. Like I can see that the Milky Way is like literally, oh, that looks sick even like pointing that up. Like you get like a, yeah, you get, yeah. Oh my God. That is so fucked. I can't believe that. There's 100 to 400 billion stars in the Milky Way. Gotta have like a landscape. You can insert that. Oh my God, bro. I gotta stop swearing, but holy shit. We had to take the second photo, which was the photo of the Milky Way in order to merge it with the silhouette. The edit. Oh my God. <laughs> Fingers crossed that it was really good because it was lining up perfectly at that moment. 20 millimeters. Oh my god. It's literally perfect. Yeah, it's so sharp. Then after that shot, we just kind of played around. We got like some photos of like Jordan's car. Like, look at that silhouette. It's like photoshopped perfectly into the horizon. You got a little bit of light pollution on the left and the right, which is actually kind of nice because it fades a gradient into the sky and you have more colors. The Milky Way is so damn visible. You can see all like the stardust and stuff inside it, pretty much perfectly going down the middle, leading into me being the silhouette. Yes, it was scary for me to go out to this place in the middle of nowhere, but I'm super happy that I did. Not just just because of the photos, but because I pushed through my perceived limits. And because of that, I've grown. And I feel like I'm a fair bit more confident in myself, in my ability to be independent and to go out and do my own thing rather than having to kind of like stay at home because of the medication. And so now that's just opened up a new door to freedom for me, which is like, that's a big deal for me. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again. I'll catch you next time.